Okay guys, uh, in the first video I showed you guys how to install um, Ubuntu on your Chromebooks. So, if you do have it installed, then all you have to do is go to the terminal, uh, type in shell, and then you do sudo start xfce4, enter, and it should take us to the Ubuntu environment. Now you only have to do that command um, the very first time you turn on your Chromebook and then you can switch back and forth. So after that, you can just do your combos and you're switching back and forth. Now, uh, there is a new update. Um, you can get that at the download page, which is included in the link of the first video. And I'm gonna include it in the description of this video too. And you can see up here, it's the same exact download link that we use to install it. And if you look down here, scroll down, you're gonna see that Instructions on how to do it. So a new version came out and you want to update. So I'm going to show you guys how to update now. Uh, the the um, update process is pretty simple, but first you want to make sure that, let me see, let me switch back to, um, switch back to the Chromebook. Now, as you can see, I, I kind of uh, customized mine a little bit. Um, it's a little more, um, flashy and I can show you guys how to do that in another video but before you start the update process go ahead and log out so um, you would go over here and then log out for me it's right here and you want to log out sign out okay so that turns off um, Ubuntu and then you can see that I'm doing the key combo and nothing's happening so we're good key combo nothing happening good so before you start go into the downloads and you see how we have the crouton right here we want to get rid of it so go ahead and delete that um, if you don't delete it then it's gonna download as crouton1 and we don't want that so let me go back to our page and also go to my downloads There's screws on right there. I want to remove it. Again, I don't want it to download as crouton one. So now I can go back up here. I'm going to click on that. And download is done. So now that it's done, we want to go back to our instructions. So I'm going to open the terminal. Terminal is control alt T gives us the terminal and now I want to type in the instructions which are uh, first we type in shell and now we do sudo sh um, dash e and then we do that squiggly line again forward slash um, downloads again we can use the, the, the shortcut so all I did was D and then I press the tab key, which finished it up for me. Uh, and then I'm going to do C, do the tab key again. Uh, that way we make sure that it types up the correct thing. Um, dash T, XFCE, space dot U. Okay, so th this command, I'll include it in the descri description, but it's also found on that website. So, enter. As you can see, the process is going. And when this is done, all you have to do is type in the um, sudo, well, first shell and then sudo xfc, start xfce4, and we're done. So that's extremely easy. Um, all your settings will be saved unless there's a major change to a component that you've modified. But other than that, everything should stay exactly the same. And uh, it's a pretty quick process. I mean, really simple procedure. And the process should only take a few minutes. Okay, so we'll be back when this is done. Okay, so the install just finished. Uh, it literally took like two minutes. Now what you can do here is just type in sudo start xfc4 because we're already in shell. But because I get a lot of questions about it, I'm going to show you guys how to enter the... 
Ubuntu environment. So we're gonna do the Control Alt T to get the terminal. We're gonna type in shell, enter, and then we're gonna type sudo start xfce4. Both start on. Okay. Let me see. Start. All right. I also got a couple questions from you guys wondering why it doesn't work and the reason was because you didn't spell it right so that right there was just a demonstration <laughs> okay so here it is as you can see all my previous settings are saved um, my dock down there um, I didn't do any anything crazy I just installed the dock and then the dock actually came with um, what they called this top panel so there you go now it's the most updated version the the switching back and forth right now is like flawless as you can see um, there's no issues there that's one of my um, major issues with this because or annoyances because you have to you know get it just right sometimes you have to do it twice and sometimes if you do it too many times it actually gets stuck in that black screen for like a minute but now it goes back and forth perfectly. You can use either of the arrow keys. Let me show you guys. You can, uh, if you hold the, those three, you can use either of these arrow keys to switch back and forth. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's how you update the um, Ubuntu for Chromebook using ch root. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and the next one probably be how to install this dock.